Hello everyone. Still got a little taste of the flu, that's why I'm still in my robe. But um, anyways, uh, somebody was, a friend of mine was asking about this model I'm working on here. Uh, the, the story about what's behind it and everything you know, originated. So what I'll do is show you a little video and, and talk a little bit about it. Yep, still in pieces. I know a lot of you have been following the story behind this thing. But uh, yeah, it's a... Uh, I said, things been around since 1979. My wife was pregnant with my first daughter when I was working on it. And I decided I was going to, I'm going to bring it to Wonderfest if, if there is a Wonderfest. Makes me wonder. Anyways, there's some like parts missing and I was going to just replace a lot of parts on the outside until I upended it on one end, carrying it out or carrying it down here. And I heard parts rolling around, which was the interior parts had come loose. So I decided to, you know, tear everything open so you get to everything, you know. Um, and there's chairs loose in there. There's like a little kitchenette here. There's a table uh, was loose in there, sitting on its side. And over here I had like, like sleeping bunks, and those were loose too. What I'm doing now, these are like little packs. Little look like these are going to go in the this hallway area this hallway area has only had one single window here originally here and uh, you couldn't really see in there and i thought it was kind of a shame because you got, you got a nice looking room that looks down into the the bay you know in here the, in the bay, bay down there which a lot of you have seen already can't really get a camera on you to get a camera with a snorkel lens or something i don't know and of course the back side too so it's gonna get a little bit different paint scheme. Well, it's really dark in there right now, you know. So uh, I'm gonna make it white across here, so it'll all be white. Boom! See, it shows you how long the parts. <laughs> the glue doesn't hold up very long. Or I, sh I should say, back glue has held up a very long time. So it's a matter of putting it over here in the pile and keep on going. Yeah, this is like a pile of stuff, uh, like new doors. They're the same as the old ones. But I just molded it and decided to uh, make some cooler looking castings. But these are going to go in that little hallway area again here. And then what I'm going to do is um, with these, you know, sort of kind of pile them like so, you know. Yeah, so and there, just place them along the edge there along the hallway. And I also decided to put like some chairs there too. So I have three chairs back here along the hallway too for people to sit by the window. And uh, so, various different colors, various things, water. These will be uh, medical ones, these little red ones I got. These little stickers, or de not decals, because my thing doesn't, you know, can't print decals or crap on that, that big fancy machine up there for some reason. It all bleeds out, unless it's the material. So, you know, it's like there's your, I don't know how close, put it on uh, close-up mode here so you can see it. Oh, here we go. Now you can see it. Boy, interesting. See it sparkly? Anyway, so you, know, you have like H2O, which are actually going to go on these tiny little guys there. You know, so H2O on those guys. Little red packs here. Well, uh, those will have the medical thing. I know it's usually white with red. That one's something a little different. Little red with white. These rings, providing it'll work. I haven't tested them yet. We'll actually go there. I'm gonna put a you know safety rings around. Get two of those, and then I'm on the way in the back there, which looks terrible. I might have to make that one a little fatter, I think. So uh, yeah, these are some of the modifications. There's like you know the new room. Uh, that's the sleeping chambers, which I'm sure a lot of you've seen already. I think I even videotaped some of this, the old top, you know. Uh, I won't change much on this at all. I, I just want it to be a little bit brighter. I don't like the color of the ship. It's very dull, you know, so I want to bring it up a little bit. Not too much, though, you know. It's not supposed to look like a, you know, a circus machine, so. But yeah, you know, Consolidated American Freight Ways. Because there is a place called Consolidated Freight. So I just, just I added airspace in there, Consolidated Airspace.
So a friend of mine was asking, what's the story behind this model that we quite honestly there really isn't. It wasn't like I came up with a theme. It was just something back when I was younger. I just used to build sort of stream of consciousness, like, you this, which is the way most sci space models are built anyways. You know, you just sort of uh, grab the part and say, yeah, that part works. No, that part doesn't work, and just rearrange it. I was really influenced by Galactica back in the 70s a bit. And it has sort of a Galactica sort of feel to the shape and everything like that. It's less Star Wars looking, I think. But uh, yeah, so it just something I decided to build. You know, a lot of things I just said, you know, kind of built them really quick. You know, probably with this sort of fixing it up a little bit here, or a lot of it. Take almost as long as it took when I originally built it. I, mean, I hope not. I got to get you know other models done and built. You know, so um, threw all the parts together, and uh, that's what, what I got. So uh, that's pretty much the story behind it. You know, just very early model making. This is its second facelift. Um, the first one, yeah, well, you know, it was kind of gray in color. And then the second time when I was at working at Boss Film and realized, wow, casting, you can you know, mold and cast all these cool looking parts and so many space techie stuff back then. You know, we were working on Solar Crisis at the time, I believe that's when I rebuilt it because they had a lot of really good um, space tech. Up. You know, they didn't really do a whole lot of kit bashing back then. They made their own details and that's, that's what Pat McClung used to tell me. They don't care much about using tank parts anymore and stuff like that, you know, uh, so they try to make their own parts and, uh, and not to make a face in the detail, that's very important, he said, so it ends up looking like a robot Aztec face, and if you line up the detail wrong in terms of symmetry, you know, two eyes, nose, mouth, quite easy to do actually, if you look at my Mars Hopper kit, if you have that Mars Hopper, you'll see an Aztec face in there, so. So, yeah, I just want to get this thing done. I'd like it off the shelf by the end of the week, but of course, you know, we had, I got, what was it, uh, Influenza B, you know, which kind of put me out of the work, works for a week and a half, and my wife's got it right now, you know, so she's having to deal with the coughing and not feeling well and being cold for a week and a half, you know, chills. So, um, yeah, that's, I guess that's all for now. Hopefully the next video that I shoot on this thing will be the one it's finished. Be the one it's finished? Okay, that'll work for me. All right, take it easy, stay healthy, and stay off the damn streets. It's bad out there. See ya, bye.